many artists are scared of the painting knife and but I find this little piece of equipment is one of my best friends when you use it properly it gives you wonderful results but it's normally used in oils normally used in acrylics but there's something interesting let's see how we can use this in watercolors to see how it can improve our, our paintings in such a way that will be quite surprising. For the first demonstration I'm going to mix up some uh, Van Dyke Brown to get me the nice darker color. So we mix some of that You can see I'm making it into a nice little puddle. Right, the painting knife has been sort of de-oiled as it were and I'm going to pick some of this up on each side. You can see, I don't know if you, uh, uh, the video will take, uh, show it, but there's some on that side and there's some on that side. So let's see what happens here. Make some branches from the trees. You can get little lines here, which you not always easy to get with with uh, with a rigger brush. Just draw that in, draw some of it out. Got some of your other little twigs. You got that. So there we have a basic tree. Put some ground here. From here, we can flick out some grass. Necessary. You can come back. Let's get up there. Put a few little other twigs. Let's zoom into that. Another thing as well too. You can take that and let's see what happens now. put some nice splatter. Easier than with a brush actually. Control that. Whenever you need any splatter, pick this up. And you have your gravel on the road. That's that. I'm just going to let that dry a bit and then we'll come back and I'll show you something else after that. I'm now going to mix some greens, three colors. Put some here. Put a bit of water in each of these get it started. Take a little touch of yellow to give you the, the nice background color. Sunlight. I've got some hookers green in here and you can see it's 
very bright colors, almost too bright to use on its own. So what I do is I tone it down a bit by taking a little bit of orange into it. A bit of orange, you can see the colors busy toning down. It's not that very, very, very bright color. We've got this inter intermediate. And I'm going to take some more of the the hooker's green. And I'm going to give the shadow color for the uh, foliage. And by doing that, I just add a little touch of the opposite color, which is red. So I'm adding a, some alizarin crimson into it. You can see that becoming a very, very darker green. Bring it in until we get that nice a nice dark, dark green there. Right, now I'm going to pick up some of the the yellow on the knife and look what I'm going to do. Just smear some of that over there. Maybe even put a bit down the bottom here. Clean it. I'm going to pick up the intermediate now. Let's say the sun is coming from from that way. I'm going to pick up some You have some darker color. You can see how you can move the paint around, give it a few little leaves that are out on the outside. Some shadow. Then I'm going to take the edge of the knife, clean that up. And you can run a few little other darker lines in there. Demonstrate that. Let's put a bit here on the side. And you want to get some branches inside. Take that and gently put it in there without cutting the paper. It forms little grooves, and what happens is the pigment settles in the little grooves and gives you the, the darker color, or branches that are inside. Can you see how that little branches are coming out there? Take a bit here. Obviously, you're going to be using the painting knife in conjunction with the parts of the brushwork as well. This is just to show you what can be done with this. Now, we've got one, I've got one more little thing to show you. So, I'm going to work up some quite thick Van Dyke browns.
almost like a thick paste. And let's put this here. And put another little one across there. And then I'm going to take the card. Sun is coming from that side, and I'm going to scrape that out that way. get some rocks. You can also take some colors from the wet color here and use it similar to the painting knife. You can take that out and run out some, some little grass. Went a bit too far. So if I'm going to this is dry, you can just drop in some a light lighter colour in there. Then there's I forgot there is another way that we can do to ac actually do tree trunks. Gently pull some of it across, bring a line down. Part of a tree trunk. You have it coming out the ground. You have all the little grasses, etc., that's associated with it. coming out here. Just take that up a little bit further. You can just move this around. When it's dry, we come back, we add some other little color in there. A bit too smooth here, so let's add a little bit of roughness here on the bark. So you can do tree trunks as well. You can see once you've done your basics, you can pick up a little bit of a little bit of orange and just give a wipe across there. And finish off with your brush. Nice coming from that side. Just put a bit of dark in here. Green. We've got 
some leaves above this. Obviously, these leaves will be going higher up. A bit of shadow in there, just drop a little bit of there. We, there we have a demonstration of what you can do, and uh, use this technique in uh, with with your watercolor paintings. Obviously, there's more that what can be done. Um, I think what you should do is experiment and just see how this suits your particular needs. Well, I hope you enjoyed that demo and you'll be able to put it to good use to your watercolor paintings. And soon we'll be seeing each other possibly with another demo. Until then, ciao for now.